over your life. I don't know what people have said about you. I don't know what that you have been going through. Maybe the challenges that you have been encountering in the place of your work, challenges that you have been encountering in your family, in your business, in your career, in whatever that which you are doing. But I believe that God Almighty this morning is here to bless you. I believe that God Almighty this morning is here to do something great over your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for you this morning that whatever has been an obstacle over your life, may God intervene this morning. May God do something new over your life. May God change your life. May God lift you. May God open a new door for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone lift up your voice and say, Jehovah, this morning I am set and I'm here. I am here for a change of story. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody share that life. Somebody share that life. Share that life. At the same time, just tap the screens, do the necessary. God is here to bless you this morning. Remember, we are live in our YouTube channel at Romi TV Africa, Dr. Robert Osoro. We are live also at this moment and we are speaking at our uh, Facebook page at Dr. Robert Osoro. At the same time, at Romi TV Africa. And we are here at uh, uh, TikTok Live at uh, Prophet Robert Osoro. And at the same time, at... Uh, uh, this year kenya so wherever you are just keep on tapping the skins and share and share this morning because the sample that is gonna be placed this is our first day of the month of september our month of part that one thing that which has never come reality in your life by the power of the holy ghost god is gonna make it happen we have been god has been faithful unto us from the month of january the month of february the month of march the month of april the month of may the month of june July, August, and finally, we are in the month of uh, September. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 100, first, chapter 150 from verse 6, that let everything that has prayed praise ye the Lord. That anything that can preach, let it praise the Lord. Because this is the day that which the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. In the book of Psalms 118 from verse 24. If you know that you are alive on this day, God has made it so that you can rejoice and be glad in it. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God has been faithful unto our life. Maybe there's something that you've been going over your life and think that God has left you. God has not left you, but God has been with you. That is why you are alive today. There's somebody that was expecting to see this day, but they have not been able to see. There's somebody who was expecting to be alive, but he has just died. Thousands of people have died this morning. Thousands of people died yesterday. Thousands of people cannot feed, cannot eat, cannot do anything. But you and me, we are alive that we can see the glory of the Lord despite of whatever that you are going through over your life. And that is one of the reasons that you are supposed to thank God and worship His name because He has given you an opportunity to be alive. There are people who are in hospital, they cannot speak, they cannot eat, they cannot even worship God. But you and me, we are here life we can speak we can worship god that is one of the biggest thing that which you need to thank god for hallelujah praise the lord this morning i want to i want you to allow me in the few minutes so that i can take you through the word of god in this new month of uh, uh september and i know that it shall be a prophetic word in this of a prophetic encounter service today and that can be a blessings of our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This morning, uh, I will be speaking the word of God, the word of prophetic unto you. But before we go there, I want us to lift our voices and pray that may God give us wisdom. God give us knowledge. God open our mind that as we hear the word of God can be a blessing to our life. Lift up your voice as we pray. Our cheer loving Father, we thank you this morning. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. There shall be no one like you, Jesus. Your name is above all the names. I pray this morning that may you forgive our sins that which you have done, knowing it and knowing it, Jehovah, so that is when as we receive your word, may find a place in our heart to fall. I pray this morning, may you forgive my sins, almighty God, and use me as a vessel to be a blessing upon your people that as I speak upon their life, by the power given me by, the, 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 by Jesus Christ, as his apostle and the prophet, the authority and power. That's a minister. Let your word come with power so that it can make a change upon your people. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 63, from verse 1, that I shall I seek thy, verse 2, to receive thy power and thy glory in his house. I pray that this morning as we have come to seek for your presence, may your power come down. May your glory appear upon our life that as we will glorify your name, let your glory be in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Mighty God, this morning I command every evil spirit and every spirit of heaviness by the power of the Holy Ghost that as this service goes on, I pray that let the sick be healed, let the poor be lifted, let those who are weak be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. I hear the Spirit of God saying that many people are going through challenges of sickness in hospital. It doesn't matter how long that you have been sick. It doesn't matter the kind of sickness that you are going through. But by the power of the Holy Ghost right now, I send God's power and the word to whichever the hospital anybody that who is connected to you i pray that under the voice of your servant jehovah i send your word for the supernatural healing wherever your people may be sick right now i pray that let the sick Get out of their life in the name of Jesus. I pray for supernatural healing, supernatural lifting, supernatural strength by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, right now, there's a spirit of healing taking place. God spoke to me in the year 20, 2012, in the month of April, on, 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 on the 8th of the month of April. That was 3.53 a.m. And God said that, my son, every word that I shall speak unto you, and as you speak to my people, it shall come to be a reality that many shall be healed through your hand, many shall be delivered through your word, and right now, as the Bible says in the book of Second Chronicles chapter, Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 20, and thou shalt believe your God, God, and believe in his word, and believe his prophets and apostles, it shall come to happen. Right now, as you believe in our God, whatever that you are going through over your life, I pray for you, that let it be a reality in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I command of every spirit of heaviness, every spirit of separation, every spirit of divorce, every spirit, spirit of poverty, every spirit of struggle by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God spoke to me in the year 2013, 2013, in the month of May on 26, and God said, my son, that thou shalt despise the small beginning, because at the end it shall be great, from the book of Job chapter 8, from verse 7 and verse 8. And God said that I'm going to change your life. And that month, two months later, I received a free visa to Europe. And that is how my life started changing. By the same power and the same grace that which is upon my life, right now I rest upon your life. By the same grace, the same favor, by the power of the Holy Ghost, receive in the name of Jesus. Because God, when God speaks, he does. Mighty God, this service, let miracles, signs and wonders in every prophetic word that coming out be a blessing to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we do and believe. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen if you believe that this morning, this service is purposely made for you. And God is here to deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Keep tapping that screen, please. And keep sharing because there are many that who have been uh, in captive. And God has prepared this morning that this is the moment that God wants to change their life. And I believe that this service, it's going to be a change of story to everyone. This is come back that we have come back to this, our services. And this morning, for those who have, have not been aware, maybe who you are speaking to, my name is Dr. Robert Osoro or Reverend Robert Osoro. The amount of September, I will be celebrating five years in the office of uh, a reverend since I was ordained as a reverend in the year 2019, the month of September on 21st. So 21st of this month, I will be celebrating 20, five years in the office of reverend and also I will be celebrating in the same time 25 years in the ministry that I've been serving God. That God has moved me over 30 countries through the gospel and the uh, his grace and favor has been upon my life. And the same grace I'm praying over your life that God shall do the same. Whatever that has been a challenge over your life, I don't know what you have been going through, but I hear the word of God saying that your day has finally come and it shall restore whatever that you have lost in your life. In the book of Joel chapter 2 from verse 25, he says, And I shall restore what the locust has taken out of your life. So God is here for the restoration of your life. God is here to deliver you from every captive that you have been going through. And this morning, 
uh, I'm serving in the office of, of apostolic and in the office of a prophet. You may ask how. In the, in the, in the book of Ephesians from chapter 6, the Bible says that God has given us different offices. He has given us the office of prophetic, the office of apostle, the office of teachers, the office of pastors, the office of evangelists. And God has shown his grace upon my life, taking me through all the five offices. And currently I'm serving in the same office. Maybe you may ask, what are the apostles and the prophets of God? The apostles and the prophets of God are the custodians of God who are carrying the power and the word of God to deliver to his people for something that could have taken you 10 years to achieve but through the prophetic word it can be achieved in the shorter period of time that something could have taken somebody for the hearing of a year that through the prophets of God that they can use the same grace for the hearing amen this morning I want to read the word of God from the book of uh, First Timothy First Timothy chapter 1 First Timothy chapter 1 from verse 18 the Bible says my son Timothy hallelujah uh, if you have your pipe all on the phone, I want to read because I'm used to speak scriptures, uh, not opening. But I, because of you, I want to open the book of First Timothy chapter 1 from verse 18. The word of God says, This church I commit unto you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which were made concerning you, that by them might war a good warfare. This morning, by the prophecy that was made by the son Timothy, by God, I make the same prophecy unto your life that this morning as God's word comes forth, it shall be a change of story in your life. That job that you have been looking for a promotion, it shall come like a day you never realize how that promotion came to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that job that which you have been desiring to have. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that job is coming to you. You have been desiring God to give you a partner, a divine partner, a godly partner. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray right now, anybody that who is due for marriage, this is your season in the name of Jesus. Distance is not a barrier, but God is going to connect you. God is going to make you achieve the dreams that which you have in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, allow me in the few minutes to take you through our service. I will be speaking in the topic entitled Prophetic Words of End Time. The days of generational exploits. We are in the end time. Many things are happening. You have heard about Gen Z. You have heard what is happening. People dying left, right. But the word of God came and saying that there is a second chance. Amen. In the book of John chapter 2, verse 3 to 11, a fire devoted before them and behind them, a frame panet. The land is an, the garden of Eden before them and behind them. The forest wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. First of all, the Bible says, The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horses men, so shall they learn. First five, like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they reap like the noise of a frame of fire. That forest the staple as a strong person set in battle alay. Verse six, before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall father and gather practice. Amen. Verse 7. They shall learn like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his way. And they shall not break their lands. Verse 8. Neither shall one truth another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. When you are in God's word, no matter the sword that you shall fall, you will never be wounded in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 9. They shall learn to and fro in the city. They shall learn upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the horses. They shall enter in at the windows like a tea. Verse 10. The heart shall quick before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is a strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and the go can buy it. God said concerning Abraham, for I know him. He will command his children to walk in his ways. He will command not he will advise. It's about command. To receive God's blessings and power is about command. Someone shout hallelujah. 
if you believe that by the power of God you are getting out of that satanic affliction, shout hallelujah. Amen? So he said, if you walk in line with the things you are hearing in this in this service, the same blessings upon this house will keep trailing your life all through. The blessings of Abraham is still trailing the natural Israel. Till now. And trailing us who are spiritual seeds of Abraham who care to walk in the steps of Abraham. Who care to walk in the old ancient steps of Abraham that still produces results today. By the power of the Holy Ghost, whatever the blessings that Abraham went through, may you receive the same blessings in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you have been going through over your life. But by the power of God through this service, you are changing levels. Amen? If you are Abraham's seed, then do the words of Abraham. Be personal, Reba. It's just, so you can begin to celebrate all the days of your life. So, hold those things fast and let those teachings you have been receiving become your new lifestyle. It is the way you have. No one can mentor himself unto greatness. You can't coach yourself. To become a star in sports. It is veteran prayers that prayed well. That helps to teach others how to pray. In this life we live. You must get someone that guiding you in life. Teaching you on how you dwell in the steps of the road. To succeed in life. Be set free from this new generational syndrome. In the mighty name of Jesus. That no death shall find you. No sickness shall find you. Because God has prepared a way to set you free. In this prophetic encounter service today, I decree and declare that your life will never be the same again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There can't be a new generation. That is disconnect from the whole. Every new tree is from the seed of the whole. No tree can be a seed of itself. It is the tree from the old that giveth parts to the new soul Stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old part. Where is the good way? Wait in the book of Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. So again picked me up and taught me well how to go through his blessings. Amen. You can't write your exam and mark it. You can't promote yourself in any system. Wake up and know that Jesus is here to deliver you this morning. The things we are dealing with are a Highly prophetic in all sensations. There are God's agenda for the end time that no circumstances can change but teach one we determine whether or whatever he has a place each or not. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 from verse 11 For I know the plans I have towards you. For I know the thoughts I have towards you. No thoughts of evil but thoughts of success to prosper. But you must understand from which area that you can have only those blessings. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah of the same, chapter 33 from verse 3, call unto me and I will show you the things that which you know it not. Call unto God the kind of things that God will show you. Amen. How do you call God? You call God through prayer. You call God through kingdom service. <laughs> you may ask, what are those kind of things that which we, we, we do know it not? The Bible speaking in the book of uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29 that the opening things that belongs unto us but the secret things belongs unto God and his children. The kind of things that which God has already eaten from us and the opening things that which God has set unto us. But the Bible says that as we call upon his name he shall show us those sacred things. The blessings that which he has packaged us. He will give you the spirit of uh, discerning that when the devil plans evil for you you will be in a position to see. When Satan plans death for you, you will be in a position to see. Amen? Praise the Lord. I pray that what you need in your life to have the spirit of discerning, to see what the devil has planned for you, so that you will overcome before those sickness find you. You will overcome before that poverty ponders you down. By the power of the Holy Ghost right now, receive your miracle lifting. Receive your miracle healing. Receive your miracle partner. Receive your miracle blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, today I'm teaching about Jeremiah. Chapter 1 from verse 1 or verse 5. For I knew you before you were born, even before you were in your mother's womb. So God knew us to be the great 
prophets of God, to be the great people. And God asked Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, from verse 10, 11, 12, Jeremiah, one thou shit! And Jeremiah said, I see the Lord. The Lord means I see the word of God. And it's God saying, you have seen correctly. Until you see correctly, you have not what you have. So you must start believing that God has given you that job. You must start believing that God is lifting you. You must start believing that you have gotten that job. You must start believing that God is giving you a partner. Amen. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1, the Bible says, what is faith? It says, and he said, now faith is the substance to make unseenable things by our naked eyes and unbelievable things by our naked eyes to see, to be seenable and to be believable. You, so you must start seeing them. You must start believing them by the spiritual eyes. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 and to 13, that the spiritual things I like stupid to the to the to the carnal man because he understandeth not them because you are a carnal man. You need a spiritual understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for you that may you be in in, in a spiritual life so that you will be able to see what God has prepared for you and you will be in a position to see ahead of you and to believe things that which cannot be livable, to see things that which cannot be seenable by the naked eyes, by the, the spiritual eyes. Amen? Praise the Lord! When God wants to bless you, there is a fire that first it, it passes you through and through that fire, you will come out a person that go as a lesson. A person that God has been blessed. When, 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 when the God is being prepared, it has to go through fire. It has to go through fire. By the time it's coming out, it's a fine goal. So whatever that you're going through your life right now, God is taking you the steps. God is teaching you the reason. So that you will be in a position to be stable. By the power of God, I pray for a divine financial breakthrough over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for divine supernatural power. To come over your life to deliver you from every satanic affliction. I pray for divine supernatural miracles in your marriages, in your businesses, in your career. Whatever that has been a challenge over your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. It has come to an end right now. In the name of Jesus. You are moving to the next level. But the Bible says in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 1 verse 1. And thou shalt not sit with the seeds of scornful, nor with the seeds of sinners. But first three, the Bible says, and you shall be like a tree planted by the levers of water. Even it sees, so it shall not wither. But whatsoever you do, it shall prosper. It means that you shall be like a, a, like, like a son of God that goes planted by the word of God. That even whatsoever you do, it it means that even the time of season, the time of challenges, people are mocking you, relationships are not working, marriages are not working, business is not moving. But the Bible says that if you stand like a tree planted by the rivers of water, like if you be like a son of God who is planted by the word of God, he said that whatsoever you do it shall prosper. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for your prosperity in your marriage, prosperity in your business, prosperity in your career, prosperity in every area of your life. Some people say, Pastor, why do you talk about prosperity? That those people who are talking about prosperity is a general term, stands for success of, in every area of your life. Look at the book of uh, Joshua chapter 1 from verse 8 and verse 9. Amen. Now, verse, verse 6, Joshua chapter 1 from verse 6, God was encouraging Joshua when he was taking up from Moses to take the children of Israel to the promised land. And this is what Joshua said. God told Joshua in verse 6 that be strong. Do not be discouraged by the magnitude of these people that you see. Verse 8 and he says, let this book of law, the Bible, no depart from your mouth. Meditate it day and night and thou shalt bring good success and prosperity. So prosperity is the order of our life. Prosperity is God's agenda for humanity. It is God that has prepared that we shall prosper. Look at the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 from verse 17 18. And thou shalt remember your God God who gives you power to prosper. So it is God has given us power to prosper. So prosperity is what God wants us to have. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. We are the children of signs and wonders. The trees and generation. Hallelujah. I don't know what you have been going through over your life. But the one thing that I believe that the past has gone. 
God has prepared something new over your life. Yesterday has gone. Another day is come. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Yesterday has gone. Another day is come. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Yesterday, whatever that you passed through, whatever the challenges that you had, has already gone. God is doing something new over your life. Look at the book of Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 19. It says that you will make a way where there is no way. Amen? That means God is in a position to change your life. God is in a position to make something new. What you need to do is just to agree with God. It's just to, sometimes you have to challenge God. Somebody says, Pastor, can you challenge God? Yes, you challenge God by his word. That Because God himself says in the book of Numbers chapter 20 verse 18, that what I say is what I will do. I am God who will change it. No, if God spoke that he will bless you, challenge God. God will say that you will bless me. I'm here now to receive my blessings. He said in the book of, uh, of uh, 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 in the same book of uh, what? Malachi chapter 3 from verse 6, he said that what I say, I say is what I will do. So once God promises, he has never changed Amen. Once God promises, he will always ride on his promises. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41. I want us to read in the book of Isaiah uh, chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41. I want us to read in verse 21. The Bible says, produce your case, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, says the king of Jacob. In every given time that you want to challenge God, you must produce your case. You must give reasons why that you want God to bless you. God See how I serve you in your kingdom service. See how I serve you in your word. So you have to give strong reasons to challenge God so that God can bless you. Amen? <laughs> in the same book, verse 41, verse 17, he says, When the poor and the needy seek water and the Lord will hear them, either God of Israel will not forsake them. God will not forsake you. Verse 18, I will open rivers in the high places, and a form train in the midst of the forest, I will make the wilderness pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Verse 19, I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the acacia tree. Amen. So God will make a way where there's no way. Isaiah 43, verse 18. Remember not the former things, neither the consider the things of old, because they are kind of things that we keep on remembering. Well, the things that which we went through, the devil took us through. Maybe you used to do a uh, kind of job that which uh, made you into temptations. Maybe there's something you are doing was not godly. But the Bible says this. Remember not the former things. Remember not the former things. Hallelujah. Neither consider the things of old. Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing now. It shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? It will even make a way in the wilderness and deliver us in the desert. So God is here to make a way in the wilderness. God is here to bless you. God is here to change your life. It doesn't matter what you've been going through over your life. I hear the Spirit of God telling me that the people who have the heaviness of heart, there's something that which you've been going through. You've been going through challenges. You've been going through stress. There are things that have been making you feel like you have no need to live. But I hear the voice of God saying that it's making a new beginning over your life. It doesn't matter how long that you've been going through those challenges. It doesn't matter what people have said about your life. But I'm here this morning to pray for you that God is here to bless you. Never give up because God is here to do something new over your life. Oh, Shakazete Bush, I feel like I should pray for someone this morning. I am here to pray for someone this morning. I don't know what you have been going through. I don't know what the devil has done over your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in this prophetic encounter service, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your family. I want to pray for your business. I don't know how, how people have been taking you. But by the power of the Holy Ghost right now, receive your freedom. Receive your restoration of whatever that you have lost. God is here to give it back to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ko shalaba setebo. Amen. Remember, we are in a prophetic word, in the end time focus. Amen. 
It is not only assessing the great coach, as I said, but you assess the right coach. Amen? It is commitment and discipline, the dedication of the prayer that determines go emerging the star to be disposed to their things. You are being taught and watch how God will keep changing your level from one dream of glory to another. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. That you shall move from one level to another in the name of Jesus. Jesus, tonight again, feast every one of us in a new way in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big hand and say, God, I am set here that my life to change from one level to another. Among the prophetic agenda of the end time is the rise of men and women of exploits. They are not self-raised men, but God-raised men and women, young and old, because it is our season that God is taking us from one level to another. One thing that you need is just to believe that it's your season that God is going to change your life. Shout hallelujah. The last days are the days of generational exploits. Men that set generational feet, Joel chapter 2, verse 1 and 3. They are generational record breakers. They set records that will take generational to break it. It's not one man or two, but it's army or people. John chapter 2, verse 3 and 11. Let me say this. Maybe in your family, that family was being despised. Even the poor could call you poor. But today God gave you an opportunity. You are the first person to take a fright. It doesn't matter to which country, but to take a fright. And today you have changed that family. Maybe you did not have any, any Mapati house. It was glass houses. And today you have a Mapati house. Some of you, you have changed your family. You have permanent houses. You have same permanent houses. And nobody saw this coming in your family. I want to pray you that the same God who took you from that grass to grace. May God take you above. May you be the change of story. You become the David of this season. Amen. Because people never recognize that you can make a change of that family. But I want to pray for you. May God protect you. May God take cover over you. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon your life to be a change of story in your family. That people will always say that somebody one time was the change of story in this family. Amen. God knows the reason why you got out of that marriage. So that you can change the community god know the reason maybe you could have died in that marriage maybe you could have died in that job you were doing maybe you could have been forgotten today but god saw that it was not good to leave you there but to take you out of those challenges to take you to the another place amen hallelujah shall be permanent what the Lord has done for you and me it shall be permanent permanent it shall be permanent what the Lord has done for me, what God has done for you, I pray for you that it shall be permanent. It doesn't matter how long that you have been going through those challenges, but you are becoming the David of this season in your family. Remember the story of David in the, in the second Samuel from chapter 13 there? David, when Samuel was anointing David, remember, he could have been asked by Saul to bring all the children. He brought that bigger one, the firstborn. And they, they said, no, 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 this one. The hole could not open. Number two, he brought the second boy. He said, not this one. And he said, he asked, there's anybody still remaining? And they said, yeah, there's a small boy that is, 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 is gracing cows. He said, go and bring him. As he came, and they lifted the anointing. And the anointing who came down. And immediately the Bible says, and David became the great. And today, David became the king. Today, it doesn't matter whether you went to school or no. It doesn't matter the level where you come from, the family. But I hear God saying that it's making you to be a change of story in that family. The same God who made me to be the change of story in my community, he will do the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a child behind the children by God. It is not somebody trying to celebrate his capacity and skill. The times of arriving there are started between John chapter 2 verse 11. Amen. I want to pray for someone today. Whatever the reason that made you came to this service, it will be a change of story. I pray for you. I pray for you that the same God, the same God, the same God who brought you to this service, today, the same God is changing your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The same God is taking you to the next level in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you have been going through. It doesn't matter how long that you have been struggling. But one thing that I believe, 
God is making a change of thought in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are young people here who will fall in this class, setting generational records in their callings and elections, not in their ambitions, not in their passion. For every one of those folks will walk in his way and will walk on their path, and they shall all break their rank. Amen. It will be highly visionary individuals who are out there in the will, plan, and purpose of God their lives. And that person is you. That person is you. In the name of Jesus. Kalezeti kalabash. Mazete koshaka. Lazita kazetika. Mazete. Somebody is changing level. Somebody is changing level today. Whatever that has been a challenge over your life. Whatever that has been a challenge over your life, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray that God is going to lift you to another level in the name of Jesus. Please note, exploits are not the ambitions of the redeemed. It is our heritage that God has given us. Matthew chapter 11 from verse 11 of all born of women, beginning from Noah to John, the Baptist, that includes Abraham, all those giants of all born of women. There is none as a great as John the Baptist. Amen. But he that is raised in the kingdom is greater than him. That means we have this redemptive potential in us. That is not make us demonstrate and manifest greater exploits than all those old testament saints. Everyone and each of us has a potential in us. But what it needs is just to be raised. Amen. And God speaking to Abraham, he said, And in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. Amen. And if be cursed, then are your Abraham's seed. And the heirs according to the promise Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. We are the seed of Abraham. Blessed, lifted, protected, and set to the set time of exploits. I pray for you that the same God who has given you this opportunity to be alive this hour, He will lift you, He will protect you, He will heal you, and they will make a change of story in your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, your life is making a new beginning. Amen? What that means is every child, if God is redeemed to command group or exploits, you have a covenant heritage of group or relevance. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 2. And I will make of thy great nation, and I will bless thy, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Remember, when God separated Abraham from Lot, so God is separating you from your enemies. And said, Abraham, get out of your country to where we send you. And he said, Abraham, as I send you, I will bless you and make you great. And those who curse you, I will curse them. Those who bless you, I will bless you. So those who see when you are receiving God's blessings, when you are lifted, they are fighting for you. God is fighting for you. Because God himself said, Abraham, I sent you up. Go to where we sent you. Where your eyes can see, have it. So we are limiting ourselves today because we have not opened our eyes to where it can see. Whatever you can believe that you can have, if it's financial breakthrough, if it's marriage, whatever, so long as you believe God, he will make it happen. And he said in Genesis chapter 2, verse 2, and I will make of thy a great nation, and I will bless thy, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. I pray for you. May you receive the Abrahamic blessings upon your life in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Your family is blessed. Your business is blessed. Your job is blessed. Whatever that you may engage doing by your hands is blessed. God says in the book of uh, Exodus chapter 23 from verse 25, And thou shalt serve your God, God. And he shall take away every sickness from the midst of your life. And he says, none of your family shall be parent. And verse 26 says, and you shall fulfill the number of your days. Do you know what that scripture means? It says, and I will bless and thou shalt serve. So serving God is not a command. It's a choice you make. Serving God is not a command. It's a choice you make to serve God. 
But when you serve God, God will service your life. It will service your life. You serve God first, then God services your life. It's the choice that you make. He says, and I will take away every sickness from the midst of your life. Look at uh, uh, that Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. He says, but see, I am the Lord go in a time. So is God go in a time. Praise the Lord. As you serve God, it will service your life. So that God, he wants, when he says that, and I will place your food and water. This is not a physical food. This is not a physical water we drink. No. It is spiritual. It means that you place the work of your hands and no devil will take what God has placed you through money to take to hospital. So if you are here and still you have your parents, you have whoever that who is sick in hospital, taking also what God is placing to you for. I pray that that can't be broken. The last time I learned that when I'm working every time, because I personally for over 20 uh, uh, from, tw let's say 2000, over 20 years, I've never been in hospital. Because when I knew that I'm a son of God, I am redeemed. Jesus died to set me free from sickness, to set me from failure, to set me free from poverty. It's the day I said poverty, bye-bye. Because the poor could call me poor. It's the day that I said bye-bye to sickness. It's the day that I said bye-bye to satanic affliction. And today, it's over 20 years, never been in hospital. And that's why God gave me the grace to speak to the sick, to be healed. And today, the same way God did, I went and I spoke over my mother that I will not work to take you hospitals. Sickness, flee away in the name of Jesus. You know, you speak boldness by faith. I say faith is to start seeing things you cannot see, believing things you cannot believe. And from that day, I say, mother, this no more old age pains and other things are no more. But sickness is not your portion. She's 76 years now, very strong, stable. And they always, every time I go home, I lay your hands and say, long life is your portion. And that is what the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. And thou shalt serve your God, God. So it's not a command to serve God. It's a choice. And, it's, and then if you make a right choice serving God, he says, and you shall, and I shall bless your food and water. That means he will bless the source of your income. And this, I will take away every sickness from your midst of life, that means you will not allow sickness to torment you. And then it says, none of your family shall be parallel. Not only parallel of the fruit of the gumb, but even the parallel of your finances, of your businesses. And then number three says, none of your family shall be parallel. Lastly, it says, and you shall fulfill the number of your days. Do you know how many number of your days? The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Psalms chapter 90, the Bible says, and God asked Abraham, for how long that you want to live? Abraham said, God, if I live 70 years, it's okay. But if I live 80 years, it's okay. And Abraham died, and that has, they, they talk, told David, sorry. And when David was at eight, 70 years, he died because that was his spoke. But when God was speaking to, uh, Abraham, to, to Moses, he, he spoke to him in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, chapter 6 from verse 3, chapter 6, verse 3. And he spoke to, to, he spoke to, to Moses. And he asked him for how long that he want to live. He said that, and you shall live 120 years. And the Bible said that when Moses was at 120 years, he went to Mount Moab. Nobody knew where he went. Because we have three people in the Bible that nobody knows where they went. We have Abram, that who went to Mount Moab, and that is how he flew. We have Enosh, and we have Elijah. You know all the story of Elijah? If you read in the book of uh, First Kings chapter 2, the double portion spirit of Elijah when he was coming to Elisha. I'm going to teach that one in our next episode. The double portion spirit is what you need. You need to have a spirit of persistence, the spirit of perseverance, the spirit of commitment, the spirit of Elisha. That who could be discouraged by many people, but still he kept on following Elisha. And he received the double portion speech in verse 11. And that is how his life changed it. I pray for you today by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever that has been tormenting you, that business to receive double portion speech, that job to receive double portion speech, that marriage to receive double portion speech. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, la kate kesita bashia. Somebody's changing life today. It doesn't matter what you have been going through over your life, but you are moving forward. So when you serve God, you make a good choice to serve God, God will change your life. 
God will lift you. God will make a new thing in your life. Hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody's changing levels. Amen. Serving God is a choice. But praising God is a command. Isaiah, uh, Psalms chapter 155.6 Let everything that has prayed, praise she There are choices. There are things that you make a choices. And the kind of things is a command. Like making a choice to live in darkness on the right is a choice. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. The Bible says, I said this day before you. Right and darkness. Death and life. To make a choice. So God has set a life unto us to make a choice whether to live or to die. But the Bible says, but I advise you to make a good choice, a choice of life. Today I pray for you, God, to open your spiritual eyes to make a choice of life. From this service, people are coming, exploits of their generation in the name of Jesus. People will look for you, but they will never found you. Psalms chapter 34, 35, those who are digging a ditch for you, they shall enter themselves. None of you shall die accident. None of you shall die sickness. None of you shall die premature death. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 118, from verse 17, I shall not die, but I shall live to testify God's goodness and mercy. We are not there to live wrong. That is God's plan and purpose in our life. You shall not die, whether you are sick or not. I pray for you that you shall not die. But God is going to protect you. Somebody lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and say, God, I am here. God, I am here. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. Oh, shalaze tekele kekedo azala zatia. Mazete rosita donta kazetia. Laze tikasha. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray, 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 pray. Somebody pray, 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 pray. God is doing something new in your life. I don't know what you want to God to do for you, but I want you to pray right now. Pray, 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 pray. God is here to change your life. God is here to deliver you. God is here to make a new thing over your life. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lord, lift up your voice. Oh, sha la 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 la. Mazete kete kete kete. Lift up your voice and pray, pray, pray. I don't know what is that you are praying. Maybe you are praying for healing. You are praying for lifting. There's a job that you have been looking for. I don't know what exactly you are praying God to do for you. But one thing that I believe God is here to do it for you. 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 Kashete kete 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 kete. Lift up your voice and pray, 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 pray. God is here to deliver you. God is here to deliver you. Oh, shalaze teke teke tia, mazate koshila kazia, matetete, lo shikaza tapase tebo. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to stretch your holy mind to the things stuck for you that you don't see. It does not mean it does not exist. It only means you are, you are yet to see it. But as far as your eyes can see unto you, God will give it unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When I saw my El Church of Gropo reverence, Gropo impact, I said, I will consider it the motion to be the president. Amen. God has used me to deliver his word in many countries, in many nations. And I know that that was the purpose of God in my life. Amen. God has a reason why he created you. God has a purpose why he brought you to this service. I don't know what you have been going through over your life. May you see well that will take beyond all doubts in Jesus' name. That's one thing that you have been doubting. God is going to do it for you. And you're going to move to the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for someone that believing for a change of story. That the God of heaven will make a way for you where there's no way. Hallelujah. No one among you will disappoint destiny in the name of Jesus. Everything Gropo started local. There's nothing big that did not start small. There's nothing great that did not start retro. Only grave that starts from up going down. But every great thing starts from down. So don't despise yourself. For God will do greater things. Job, Job chapter 8 from verse 7 and 8. He says that, And thou shalt not despise the small beginning. For at the end, they shall be greater. Whatever you are going through today, that is experience. God is teaching you to make you greater. If, guys, I tell you where my life has come from, some of you, you will be surprised. 
Only those who get an opportunity to read one of my books that will learn because I've written my story. I think my books have been have, have handed. So I want to pray for you today. May God give you grace to start. And I've said those, I see my sister writing that also she's not feeling well. This is not something that we pray that God to do. We are not begging God for the hearing, but he has given us the grace for the hearing. I pray for you, Mama Kerian, by the power of the Holy Ghost, under the voice, under the power over my voice, under the power and the utterance power that God gave me, whatever the sickness, whatever the pain that may you be gone through, within seven hours from right now, you shall be well, you shall be strong, you shall stand again. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive your supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus, and divine healing is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Right now, you are ill. You don't touch to feel like that pain has gone. But no, healing is through faith. Amen. Oh, Nini. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are a miracle You are a miracle worker. Come and do your miracle. Your miracle today. Come and do your miracle. Your miracle today. Destiny changer. You are a destiny changer. Come and change my destiny. My destiny today, sing Yahweh, Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are a miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, sing Yahweh, Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are a destiny changer, hallelujah, he's a destiny changer. And his name is Yahweh. He will remain forever Yahweh. By the power of the Holy Ghost right now. May God change your destiny to higher, to higher, and higher, and higher. From today, those who mock you, they shall come to celebrate you. From today, those who despise you, they shall come to celebrate you. In the name of Jesus. God is giving you a new key for your new car. He's giving you a new key for your new house. He's giving you a new key. For your new marriage. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you've been going through. It doesn't matter what people have said upon your life. God will surprise you. God will surprise you. Or now he will surprise you. We never know. Because God is a God of miracles. God is a God of order. And today God is going to do something great over your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything Gropo started local. As I say, there's nothing big that did not start from small. There's nothing great that did not start from ritual. There's nothing group today that didn't start local yesterday. I was in the chapel of Drafty. The praise Jesus went to read. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. It is small place for a generation after generations. The entire world continue to be impacted from that local. Building the small places. Generation of places was set from that small place. Jesus was born in babe, then became a child, then became a adolescent, then became a son, and then became a son with authority. And by the power and the same authority that given to me as the child of God, the prophet and the apostle of God, today whatever that you desire, I don't know what you've been going through, I don't know how people have despised you, by the power of the Holy Ghost, right now receive your miracle financial breakthrough, right now receive your miracle car, receive your miracle healing, receive your miracle partner, receive your miracle left hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are looking for children, may God open your group. Those who are looking for miracle partners, may God give you your partner. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Don't let where you are confuse you that the way you start, nobody is born for material talk. Nobody is born 10 kg. We all started from somewhere. Nobody is born an attack. May you never sell your patronage for a no sell or plan in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
I pray for you. I don't know what you've been going through. I hear the Spirit of God saying, telling me that somebody has been going through something. But by the power of God, right now you are changing levels. Amen? What is exploit? Maybe you may ask. Prophet, what's exploits? That's what maybe you need to know. What is exploits? What's exploits? What is exploits? Maybe that's what you need to know. What is exploits? Amen? Exploit is the heritage for those who know their God. Daniel chapter 11, verse 2, 32. And as such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by fetches. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Only those who know God that shall be strong and know their exploits. Our heritage of exploits operates on the platforms of the covenants. We live in the in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the tender of covenants. Amen. There are things we must do to get in research as man and woman of experts. There are things you must come to terms with. If you despise those terms, you are not a candidate. It is not about where you are. It is about who you are. Amen. <laughs> Those who despite the terms of the covenants never get enlisted as men and women of exploits. The last days are the days of explosive revelations. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 9. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the hearts shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So when you move in from vision the next thing you engage in is liberation that has power to make a richer one. Oh, shall as it occur. Become a thousand and a small one strong nation in one day before Jesus returns. Men like nations, women like nations will start rising by the hand of God and know the capacity of men and the strength of men know what he knows and what he doesn't know. It will be like the hand of God. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, strong nation. I, the Lord, will ascend in in his time. Revelation is the spirit born for exploits in the kingdom. Psalms chapter 45, verse 1 and 4. My heart is indeed a good matter. I speak of the thing which I have made through the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Power at failure than thy children men. Grace is poured unto the ribs. Therefore, God had blessed thy forever. Keep thy sword upon their thigh. O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty right prosperous because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach these terrible things. We ride prosperity and the majesty by the revelation. How we understand, how we get it. This morning, I believe that God will give you that spirit of revelation so that you may understand and catch the word of God that will move you to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The deep things of God are the highways of life. Psalms chapter 45 verse 7, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 and 3, and also Isaiah chapter 60 verse 8, and also Isaiah chapter 60, chapter 6, chapter 12 verse 22. All the springs in the end time shall be dominated in charge. Psalms 87 verse 1 and 7. When God is counting men and women of group or impact, they shall all be domiciled in Zion, and the Jew are one of them. Obadiah chapter 12. The redeemed of the Lord shall be in command before Jesus returns. From today, be in command of your life. Be in command of your success. Be in command of your lifting. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody is changing levels today. And we are moving to the next level. Hallelujah. Oh, niri fry, wali ponyambi ya twende, nyumba ni mwa baba twende, nyumba ni mwa baba twende, nyumba ni mwa. Oh, niri fry, wali ponyambi ya twende, nyumba ni mwa baba twende, nyumba ni mwa baba twende. Exploit is not our ambition, it's our inheritance. John chapter 20, verse 21, Luke chapter 16, verse 11. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? Prophetic pointers to the rise of men and women of exploits 
in this commission. Hallelujah. God is here to deliver you. May you not miss your place in this in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to be raised among the raised and you shall be raised in the name of Jesus. They threw Joseph into a pit saying, let us see how his dreams will come to pass. They got him out by the hand of God and then he became the slave. They have done his burial service at home because they have said, I will the priest kill him and showed his clothes and the blood. He was demon. He was the dead man. But God's agenda did not die. No matter where you may be now, look not one and first one and eastward from the world. Look through Genesis to Malachi. Look through Matthew to Revelation. All that you see unto you will God will give it to you. That is what we are doing. Abraham was not reverent to the family. There was no argument about his departure. They were tired of seeing him. But see what God made out of him. The story of Joseph, because in one of my book, Destiny for Greatness, I'm an author. I've written about the story of Joseph. How his brothers, they chew into the deep. How his brothers even despise him. So don't think that even your brother, your sisters cannot sorry you. They can sell you. Because the brothers of Joseph, they always say that this Joseph, why that is the one can come and give dreams to, my, to our dad? Why that Joseph is the one always that have a dream? And they wanted to finish his dream. They wanted to finish his destiny. But as people are planning to finish you, God is preparing a new way. Because when they were finishing Joseph, God had already prepared a way and Joseph became the prime minister in a foreign country. Remember the story of the three Epius boys, Shadrach, Maj, Meshach, and Abednego, in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, from verse 16, 17 to 24? They were thrown in the fire finance. They came out of that fire without even a smell. But the soldiers who threw them there, they died instantly. Those who are looking for your soul, those who are looking for you to die, they will die in your presence in the name of Jesus. God is going to protect you the same way in, in Daniel chapter 4. God protected the, the, the Daniel. They threw Daniel in the lion's den. But Daniel, he got a mattress and he was laughing like never before. The best and biggest mattress ever. And he came out alive. You are coming alive out of that situation. You are coming alive out of those satanic fiction. And God is going to make you an exploit of this generation in the mighty name of Jesus. What is exploit? The dictionary defines this as a striking or a notable deed. A spirit or a loic act. An act or a deed. Especially a brilliant or a heroic one. Power than tearing feet. Therefore, exploit embrace setting the base and pressing the trail in your own. Calling extraordinary accomplishments, outstanding feats, breaking new grounds out of this world, order of impact, generational group reverences in one's calling is about to bring in to pair things that eyes have not seen, nor ears have not heard. Neither entered into the heart of many man. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. It is not making a living. It is about making others live. Today, God is using you to be a change. He's changing your story. He's rewriting your story. Making you a new beginning. Making a new thing. Those who despise you, they shall come to beg a bread from your hand. God will make you sit the seats of God will make you sit before the great men and women in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's about impacting the lives of others. And as I mentioned, it is by the right of the word that we command export. Jesus said, whosoever believes in me, the work that I do shall he do also. And the greater work than this shall he do as I go to my father. So we have an unlimited destinies in Christ with potentials to go beyond what he did. If Jesus healed the sick, we can do greater. We can do much better. Because that in, in John chapter 14, that verse 13, 14, that he said that whosoever believeth in me shall do greater things than I did. So that's one thing you know, that you'll be designing that to be like somebody. You desire to be like so and so. No. Desire God to make you your own originality. So that people will be also looking unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
God is making you an outstandable person in your community. People look at and say, indeed. Can I give you a story? When I grew up, I was a young boy, a small boy. And then God made me to be like the David one in the family. During the time that I did done my standard eight, because of my brightness and the things that I've done while I was still in a primary school, my family could not be praised of them because a number of them could fight me. Because why is, the, is that it's me? You know, have you ever seen a baby of standard eight? Already a mechenga nyumba, yake ya mabati. It's, it's, it's impossible to some people. People like us, some of us, you will fight us. We started life when we were very young. If I tell you that when I was in class one, still I was doing business. I buy, from, buy, buy, I buy from, for my own uniforms. I pay for my own activity fee. It used to be 60 shillings at class one. Now you are fighting a man that who is grown up. Can you fight that? I remember that time that we had a fight within the family and I was taken to chief and I explained myself. And the chief realized that the family was against me. And they told them, you see, this man is the star of this family. And what you are fighting is not him, he's the star. And indeed, I became the first person to take a flight to Europe from the community, not the family. I became the first person to graduate with PhD. I became the first person to do many things. And that is a any given time that you see people fighting you, there is something that they are fighting in you. They are not fighting you. They are fighting that calling. Look at the story of David. Look at the story of Joseph. His brothers were not fighting. It's not the beginning that people have started fighting even the family, family members to family members. They are fighting what is in you. <laughs> Some of you know my story here on social media. And today, this is the same DCI that we're speaking here. You know what I've gone through the, the, the last two, three months. If it was you, you could have died right now. You could have not been in social media. But God has ordained us. And we are the men of exploits. And that's why today we are here. The same grace upon my life right now. I rise upon you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That whatever that shall fight you. It shall not get you. It shall not bring you down. But you shall go beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us, we fasted for 40 days, 40 nights without food. And that's why today we can speak here. That's why today we are strong. You don't know where we have come from, some of us. God has lifted us and graced us and is bringing the potential that were inside us out. Oh, Shakala Basita. Mazete Koshia. I don't know what you're going through over your life. I don't know what people have said over you. But by the power of the Holy Ghost, right now receive your miracle testimonies to share today in the name of Jesus. We serve a living God. God is not looking for people to use, but God is looking for the people to bless. Are you set for the blessings of God? We are back with the word of God. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be like never before. New grace, new beginning in this month of September. Something new that which has been born in us. And these things shall go beyond. Amen. Hallelujah. It is discovery of one's picture from the mirror of the word that keys to actualizing our glorious destiny. James chapter 1 verse 25. But goes to look at unto the perfect law of the liberty and continue therein. He being not of forgetful, era, but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. Amen. If you can see your picture and see what to do to realize it, you shall be blessed in your deed. A doer of the work, you need to get that right. A doer of the work. Not, I am believing. I am conversing. I am confused. It is the doer of the work that gets blessed. Those who engage in doing, those are the ones that God is committed to bless. We are ordained for our next level of accomplishment only by applying revelations. Amen. You observe to do what God asks you to do. He will set you on high above all nations of the earth. 
You start from your stray corner and then to your street and then to your neighborhood and then to your community and then on your town or village and then to your state, region, province and then to the nation, retro by retro by applying liberation. Let me share this story. I have been in the ministry for the last 25 years, if not 27. I started serving God when I was a young boy of around 15 years, that 1996. Uh, in the month of March, when I was at Kyoge PhD Church, I have served God since then, the year 2000, I got ordained as a pastor. I've served God from then, the year 2019, I got ordained as a reverend. I've never given up serving God because that is my calling. And God has been faithful unto my life despite ups and downs. God has taken me step by step. So I'm rooted in the word of God. Somebody asking me, Pastor, when you preach, we don't see opening the Bible. No, it is here. Because it is my daily prayer. The word of God says in the book of Matthew chapter 4 from verse 4. That a man cannot live only for the bread. But by the word of God that proceeded unto him. Some of us, God has ordained us in his word. When you fight us, you are fighting for your own. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 22 from verse 18. That a witch shall not live for the righteousness to serve her. No single day I will suffer for the sake of the witch to live on my behalf. A witch must die for the righteousness to, to live. In the year 2013, the month of April, I had a crusade at my village where I am born. You know, the Bible says that Jesus said that it's very difficult for your people to believe you. Because Jesus never believed when in the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 2, it was written that the star has been born and that was Jesus. But now in John chapter 14 verse 14, he broke that protocol of that they will not believe you. Because that if you believe in me, Jesus, when I'm going to my father, you shall do greater things than I do. And I went and I did one of the biggest crusades that after Wazungu and other people have been doing crusades there at home. I did one of the crusades and I stood in the, with the microphone on the hotter. That crusade, there were no papers, posters. It was just a prepped crusade. I just come from Mombasa and my very pastor from Nairobi. And we went there to put a crusade. And I stood and I said, God, if you did not call me, you are shame me today in this on my village. I said, this will be the biggest crusade ever. Seven days crusade ever. 2013 April. And I said, this crusade, if it won't have over 5,000 people here, then God I'm not called. If healing will not take place here, people will not be set free. Miracles taking place instant, then God you are not called. You know, that is one of the shame that you can find in your own village. And I stood, we did the crusade. All of a sudden, when I was preaching, if you go to my Dr. Robert Osoro YouTube channel, uh, the, one of the first grip, grips there, you will see that crusade. One of the things I say that let those, God has shown me here, kuna witches who are here, and those witches who are here, God has spoken to me, they come here, either I pray for them to get uh, 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 set free, or I given them 24 hours. You know, me, God gave me power of time frame. That when I say, if I say that you must be ill within this time frame, that is it. Three women came. We prayed for them. We burnt those witchcrafts. Those who refused within 24 hours, we had one has died, another one, another one, another one. Because we have been given those powers and authority. God he has used me severally. God is a God of keeping his word. Amen. Lift up your voice and say, God, to give you that power. Lift up your voice and pray. 
God will do something new over your life. God is here to change your life. Kashelebos. Maya zetebosh. Liza kazekezebosh. Mala zeteteketebosh. Liza tebosh. Let's see, kata, kata, kata. Someone lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray, pray, pray. God is here. God is here to deliver you. God is here to deliver you. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice wherever you are. God is here to deliver you. Yakazetebosh. I don't know what is this that you have been going through. I don't know what is this you have been going through. Lift up your voice and pray, pray, pray. God is going to give you, as you are praying that one thing, I'm giving you just two minutes so that to ask God what you want God to do for you. Ask God what you want. Ask God what you want. Ask God what you want God to do it for you today, and God is here to do it to you. Somebody ask God to do it for you here in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God, ask God, ask God is here to do it for you. Oh, shalaba zetebo shika, mazete kosia kaza, rekoza paze, mashaka. Whatever that you have prayed, God, I pray that may God give it to you today in the name of Jesus. I pray within 24 hours that may you come back here with a testimony. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 12 from verse 11, and they won by the, by the, by, by the, by the testimony of their word and by the blood of the ram. How much more by the blood of the, 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 the of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want to pray. I want to pray. That may God open that one door. May God answer that one prayer that you are praying. May God open that one door that which has been closed. Oh. Oh, shalazi takaze kozia. Mazete kotia kasha bazia. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I said... Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. Seeth thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. Where you find yourself tomorrow is not by waiting for it. It is by working at it, by doing whatever God tells you to do, and then your level keeps changing. At every given time, you don't only desire, you don't only wish, but you act, persist, persevere. Commit and the God shall come to your rescue. Some shout hallelujah. When I had the privileges of being a teacher, I was a teacher, dedicated, consecrated, addicted teacher. I was using a lantern to teach students at no cost. I will say to them, Your parents sent you here not to come and try to pass. You must pass and pass legitimately. Most of the time when I'm teaching, I normally teach business courses and sciences. When I teach students, I teach with passion, whether I'm paid by the university or not, because it is what that you want to push out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your parents sent you here not to come and try, but to pass. You must pass and pass Rich metry. Amen. The first principal of the school, I where I had the privilege of teaching for a short time, told the students, there is a young man in our school. He teaches as if 
owns the school. You know, you do it whenever you find yourself doing. I'm having a 21 years experience of working and every company that which I've worked, no single day can have never raised lungs from the normal employee to the managerial position. Dedication. You just do it as if there's no tomorrow. You just do it as if you have no that chance again. Amen? And that is the spirit you need to succeed. You don't say that Ibiashara si yangu, ama kwanini nifanye No! Do it like there's no tomorrow. That work you are doing. Just do it. There's a way that God pays. There's a way that God does. Whatever you are unfinded to do, do it with all your mighty, my friend. All this less thing, making empty conversions, won't take you anywhere. Get busy. Get productive. Every stage of your life is a learning curve. You pass where you are. You are next in line. Now, today, we have schools everywhere in our commission. Because I taught as if I hold the one. And God, that's why God can do that. Amen. If you have not been faithful in the things of an, another man, who shall give you what is your own? I thought as if I owned the school. Luke chapter 16 verse 11. If therefore you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust in the true riches? Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for someone believing for a change of story today. May God Almighty bless you. May God enlarge you. May God open those doors that were closed in your life in the name of Jesus. And a close the door in your life by the power of the Holy Ghost be open right now. Any satanic affliction that has been making you fail in life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your lifting. Receive your lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Koshalazeti kaza. Mazete koshila kaza. As we are winding this service, as we are winding this service, I'm going to pray for some few people here. And I know that God is here to deliver you. I know that there's something new that which God is going to do here. It doesn't matter how long that you have been struggling. But how do you engage in the word for exploits? Now, as we wind up, how can you engage in the word of exploits? How can you engage in the word of exploits? Make a spiritual project for every given task. I have a story of top lawyer. When you take a case to him, he said, let me pray about it. From what I had, he's never lost a case. Make a spiritual project of any given task. That is what will differentiate you from the world around you. You have a word from the Lord and he is ever faithful to commit his word. Ever faithful. Everything that you do, trust God. It's not you doing, but trust that is God giving you an opportunity to succeed, to pursue. Every given time that you've been given a chance, do it like there's no tomorrow. Because you never know. Maybe God is passing you through that test so that he will entrust you when you have yours. Don't say that, can you trust, Can you test God? Yes, Abraham tested. God tested Abraham and said, Abraham, take your only son Isaac to give us a sacrifice. And when Isaac was carrying, uh, 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 when Abraham was carrying Isaac, Isaac was asking, Dad, where is the sheep? Why be called out to Kuchinja? And he was going. And as he put him down, and God said, this is the place. And as he was again sacrificing him, and God called, Abraham, look up. As Abraham was looking up, he saw the sheep. God said, you just want to sacrifice. God was testing to see the fate of Abraham, that what God has given you, if he asks us today, can you give it? Today you are getting that salary of 10,000. And then you cannot give that tithe. You cannot give that offering. I'm taking to pastor. Then now, God he says, let me add you to 10,000. Still, you cannot give that 2,000. 3,000. Then God takes everything. You lost a job because he says that you are not a trustworthy. You cannot appreciate back what he has done for you. I pray for the grace to do what God commands you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 3, verse 1 and 4. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 10. Every fundamental thing of the covenant came from the altar of God. Daniel chapter 2, verse 18 and 19. That they could desire masses of the God of heaven concerning this sacred that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Papyrus. That was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. The Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Make a spiritual project of given task. 
in 52 days that gigantic project was completed. I read fasting cruiser for 28 months. In pumping life to this ministry before stepping into a full-time ministry, the core value of the ministry and the fundamental funding philosophies received from the Lord, if you hear it anywhere else, it is copied. Make a spiritual project of any God-given task if you want to succeed in your life. Amen? I say Covenant University is a coming to be the new generational and a reading university. Praise the Lord. And God has given us grace. Step by step, we are moving, we are doing things, and God will make it happen. So start it today, not tomorrow. Start today. Number two, embark on the way out and the way forward through the word with prayer and fasting, which helps to brighten your access to the right you are looking for. If at any given time you don't know what to do in life, engage in prayer. That this thing went out not unless prayer and fasting. Amen? Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 6. The kind of things that unless you pray and fast, they will never get you out. Amen? Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6 or so. Chapter 8 verse 14. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the pounds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Then shall dry right bright forth as the morning, and thine earth shall spring forth spreading, and the rightness shall go before thy. The glory of the Lord shall thy reward. Amen. Is the prayer. Prayer is the key to every success. I believe in the prosperity of the children of God, but I wasn't experiencing it because I knew I have not found what makes it work. I've seen it work in the lives of people, particularly those who have been my mentors. I pray Jesus to show me the secrets behind kingdom prosperity. I went on a three-day prayer and fasting, a Bible and two books, The Law of Prosperity by Kenneth Copeland. God is prosperity by glory, corporates, and sat with God to show me the secrets. I remember that book still is here. I'm telling you the true stories. This is The Laws of Prosperity by Kenneth Copeland. I read it and don't go up. I will never be poor again because I'm the Christian generation. Amen. Then God told me that I should follow his divine guidance. I remember one of the books that I went through uh, uh, called Divine Direction. There's a book called Divine Direction. After that, reading Divine Direction, that's when God gave me an opportunity to write a book called Destined for Greatness. This, is, this book is written by me, Robert Osoro. Destined for Greatness. I'm the author of this book. Praise the Lord. So... It is following the footsteps of God that He will always guide you. This book contains a number of my stories. Amen. Where I've come from, where am I? So today, don't fight people you don't know where they have come from because you will never win that battle. But the power of all Ghost, whoever we try to fight you who doesn't know you are beginning, they will fail in your case in the name of Jesus. Nobody changes class without passing the prescribed test. Death is an ongoing thing. After the Lord gave us this run, I went on and weeks of standing before the Lord praying, now you gave us this run. What do you want to use this run for? It's not about being town. When God spoke to me, I came to the city of Utawara. They looked for the land for the church. People were expecting that I would put them together and I tell them, let's now contribute money to buy land for the church. They saw within the first day, checking the land, looking for the owner. I heard that many people have come to that land and they is not, she's not giving out. I prayed God. I took the, the sand and I prayed God, I possess this land. And I went, I looked at the owner and he told me I have no problem. People expected that I will come and say, let's contribute. I went to my bank account, withdrew the money. Within one week, the church was already pure. Amen. The church was already pure. People were expecting to see, uh, maybe telling them to contribute, to build the church. No. If it's God, it will do us. And the church was already full. Within 10 days, the church was built. 
no single arambe was done <laughs> no single arambe was contributed no i'm speaking i'm trying to teach you steps practical steps of success here because not just giving imagination <laughs> praise the lord there's no imagination i was saying that i will be celebrating uh uh five years since i was ordained in the same church as a reverend because the church was filled within 10 days and completed with god when god speaks he does amen i want to pray for you i don't know what is this that you've been believing god for i don't know what is this that you want god to do for you but i want to pray today the same god will deliver to you the same God will open that one door for you. I don't know what you've been passing through, what people have mocked you of, but God is here to deliver you. God is here to make a new beginning over your life. God is here to make a new beginning in your life. And whatever that you may touch, it shall work in the name of Jesus. Amen? No more guesswork in your life. Number three, give yourself goal to your findings by putting them to work. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. The cloth that I left at toes with covers, when thou comest, brings with thy, and the books, but especially the pinch mark. You have asked him the way out and he has shown you, and you are not working it. That is your problem. Because once you ask God, he will always give you a way. We direct you. Some of us, we are rooted in the word of God. And he's the one that has been guiding us all throughout. Amen? Praise the Lord. Someone is moving out of this service, being changed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Reach out to those that have obtained your kind of desired breakthroughs for inspiration or towards the execution of your own task. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. Check out on what they did and how they applied it from Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15, the reaper of the foolish were at every one of them because he knew it not how to go the city. You cannot be ratted and climate at the same time. Isaac Newton said, if I have seen any father, it is by standing on the shoulders of those who have come before me. Stand ye in the way and see and ask for the whole path. Where is the good way with proofs? Where in your father's? True and walk in it, then you find less of your soul, but you will not walk there in claiming you are a new generation people, and that is why you are degenerated. That is why, and that is why you are degenerated. Many are degenerated. I climbed on the shoulders of Bishop David Oyotebo through the faith to believe that all is possible when you believe in God. I have some mentors that who will mentor you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No one will miss it amongst us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to pray this morning, this afternoon, wherever that you may be this hour. That may God open a door for you. I want us to pray. I don't know where you are right now. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I don't know what is this that you've been believing God for to do over your life. But because of time, I want us to pray right now. I want us to pray right now. I want us to pray right now. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you've been desiring God to do for you. I want us to pray. Father, I want... Father, we will thank you. We give you the praise. Someone lift up your voice and pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. I don't know what is this that you're believing God for. Yakazate bush. Mazete kete kete kete. Someone lift up your voice. God... God is here to deliver you. 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 Lift up your voice and pray, 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 pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of... Uh, Romans chapter 10 from verse 10, by the heart a man believeth, by the mouth a man converses, until you believe from your heart. Converse from your mouth, it will never happen. You need to believe and confess. You need to believe and confess. Amen? When God took me to crusades and I started doing crusades across the world, nobody believed that 
miracles will happen. Nobody believes that it will happen. I started doing crusades of three people, crusades of ten people, until thousands of people. Like one of the picture you see here, that was 2021. One of the biggest crusades. And God has been faithful till that you believe and confess by your mouth. John chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, A devil comes to steal, destroy, and kill. But Jesus came to give you life so that you may live in abundance. You are here, you are not born again. Or you are born again and you backslided. This is an opportunity that God has given you to be born again. It's an opportunity that God has given you to return back to him. I don't know where you are watching me this service from. I want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior over your life. I want us to pray. You are here, you are not born again. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I cannot help myself, but I come unto you today to forgive my sins. Deliver me. Remove my name from the book of the devil. Write it to the book of righteousness. I believe that Jesus died and crucified in the cross of Calvary so that I may be justified. I may be forgiven of my sins. I may be free from sickness, free from every bondage of poverty, free from every bondage of failure. And today, I am here to receive you as Lord and Savior over my life. I believe that I am born again. I am a new creature. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Someone shout amen. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for your children that those who have received Jesus as the Lord and Savior this hour, may you bless them. Cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. I anoint you with the power of God that no devil will take you back again in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we do pray and believe. Someone shout amen. Hallelujah. I pray for you that you joined us in this service. May God bless you. I pray that whatever that has been a desire over your life, may God give it to you. Anybody that who is sick, that who is connected to you under my voice, I command that sickness out in the name of Jesus. Receive miracle healing, miracle lifting. In the name of Jesus, those who are desiring for partners, receive your partner. Those who are desiring for financial breakthrough, receive your financial breakthrough. Those who are desiring for, break, for job breakthrough, receive your miracle job, your miracle promotion, miracle ministry, miracle financial breakthrough, miracle healing, miracle partner. Whatever that you desire God to do for you, receive it in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Your family is blessed. Your business is blessed. Whatever that you may find yourself doing by the power of the Holy Ghost, be blessed. This new month of September, I decree supernatural blessings upon your life. Every word of Jericho in your life. At the same way the children of Israel turned the word of Jericho seven times, and the word of Jericho was broken. I pray that let that word of Jericho in your life be broken. Maybe the wall of Jericho is failure in your life. Let it be broken. Maybe the wall of Jericho is stagnation in your life. Let it be broken. I don't know what you've been believing God for, but by the power of the Holy Ghost right now, receive your miracle testimony. Receive your miracle reaching. Receive your miracle new beginning. Miracle promotion. Miracle academic affairs. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. And your family is blessed. Your business is blessed. In the name of the Father, the Holy Spirit, we do pray and believe. Someone shout amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are blessed. God bless you. I'm happy that you are in this service. And may your life never be the same again. May God change you. May God lift you. May God cover you with the blood of Jesus. May God take you to the next level in the name of Jesus. Remember this service. We were live at uh, uh, our TikTok live at Destiny. Uh, at this year kenya and also prophet robert also this account will be used we have our services we do every day from evening 7 to 9 p.m also we have a uh, uh we do morning glory at the same time every sunday from 9 a.m we have our services sunday services and god bless you keep on joining us like follow if you have not followed me there follow me because this account will be used every time some of you i know you have come from this year account but now be uh, join the, uh, like this uh, follow this account so that you'll be finding me in the name of jesus amen and also 
I want to pray for you. Maybe you have your offering you want to give. Uh, you have your, your whatever that you want to be part of this ministry. You can be part of it. This is our numbers. This is our vision number that which is there is the one that we use. And also uh, you can give that of your offering wherever you are. I want to pray for your offering. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 38, say that give and it shall be given to you. The same measure that you, you measure shall be measured unto you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for your children that are there giving their offering. Through this offering, let it set them free in the name of Jesus. Every satanic affliction upon their life through this offering, I set them free in the name of Jesus. They will never lack that whatever they may touch with their hands shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft and satanic will never find them through that offering. It is a sacrifice that they are giving in their life to be set free in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. You can give your offering whatever that God has blessed you with in Jesus' name. Again, you can go to our YouTube channel because the, all of this service also, if you want to repeat it, you will find it at Romy TV Africa in our YouTube channel or Dr. Robert Osoro in our YouTube channel. At the same time, if you go to Dr. Robert Osoro in our Facebook page where we were live there, you will find also the whole of this service there and God bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom. God bless you. In Jesus, I pray for you this week shall be the best week ever for you. None of you shall fall in accident. None of you shall die. I pray that none of you shall die. You shall see this year and next year time like this one. Those who are looking for partners, may God give you. Those who are looking for children, may God give you. Those who are looking for jobs, may God give you a job. Those who are looking for promotion, may you receive your promotion. Those who are looking for breakthrough in your business, may that business have a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. You are blessed and your family is blessed. Your business is blessed. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord now and forevermore. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Go out to our social media platforms. Prophet Robert Osoro, Dr. Robert Osoro, Romy TV Africa. Like, subscribe, and follow us and tell us where you're watching us from. Every time that we come live, you will be seeing our service. Amen. God bless you. Let's have that worship song as we close.